Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Destiny Finn and today we will be talking about value-based productivity and why that is so detrimental when you place your value in productivity to becoming your highest self. But before we get into that, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a mini update of what I've been up to behind the scenes and just kind of give you guys highlight reels of where I've been, what I've been up to. If you're not interested, there are timestamps in the description. But if you are, then I'm going to ramble for probably the next 30 to 45 seconds, maybe longer. One, I am finally back. I don't know where back exactly is for a nomad, but I am back in my studio from the glacier in Alaska, from Sheep Creek, um, and that's one of the things you guys might have noticed. I have not been posting any videos except for my most recent, Sheep Creek, because I have been busy with summer. Um, and I also, at the end there, about two months ago now, because it's the middle of November, looking at my calendar, um, I just, I got to this place of where I was just making reels to put footage out there, and it wasn't to the level of excellence that I wanted it to be, um, because as a creator, I always want to create excellent works of art. I don't ever want to just create to create. So with that being said, I did take a pause, and I just let my footage sit still, until I renewed myself and took some time to rest the past few weeks and then I got back into it. And so here we are today. Next, I got a dog. Cue highlight reel. The greatest gift you could receive while on this earth is a dog as a best friend. Isn't he adorable? I did get a dog. His name is Black Moon. He's the goodest of the good boys. And if I had not went down to Sheep Creek, I would have never met his cute furry face. And he's looking at me because I said his name and he's sitting on my bed currently. I also have been doing lots of things for Finn and Burke, um, which is my company in case you did not know. And I've been working on projects, working on getting new products lined up to launch in a couple months and just really preparing for next summer. There is a lot that I want to do next summer with my company and so therefore it takes a lot of just ground planting the seeds so that way they may grow as Ecclesiastes 11.4 I think states, you know, there's no perfect time to plant. but you need to plant. So that is what we are working on. Now let's get into value-based productivity. <laughs> so what is value-based productivity? Value-based productivity is a form of instant gratification. Okay. It is a form of need of approval, the need of acceptance, the fear of abandonment is a form of seeking love in all the wrong places. It says, if I do this, then I get this. If I give you this, then I am worthy of that. Value-based productivity is detrimental to becoming your highest self because you are constantly chasing things and chasing your worth and things that shift and change. And you should not be doing that. And if you are doing that, you need to pause and stop. Okay? I speak from experience. I used to seek approval and love and acceptance to feel enough, to feel good enough by my productivity. I hugely placed my value as a person and what I could do for people. Okay. And that need for unconditional love, I sought it in conditional things, you know, and, and it starts young as a child. Oh, Hey, look, I got hundred percent on my test. Well, that's good, darling. You know, Hey, look, I got this. Oh, that's, that's great. And you just, you keep pursuing bigger and bigger things until you finally hit burnout with that because you try to go beyond your best. Okay, you should always do your best, but never better than your best because that's called perfectionism and perfectionism is a disease. Okay, and that's a totally different conversation for a different day. Today, we're focused really on value-based productivity and how to conquer it. Value-based productivity is like a cup of coffee. You know, that first time getting a hit, it's really good. It's that form of instant gratification. Well, that felt really nice. <laughs> I feel great. You know, like, how oh, I did that. And then next thing you know, you're drinking more cups of coffee and drinking more cups of coffee. Same with narcotics and drugs and alcohol and sleeping around just that type of sex, you know, Instagram, social media, video games. Everyone has their form of that instant gratification, that feel good drug, that dopamine hit to their brain. And that's what value based productivity is. It's that placing of I'm enough because I'm doing enough, but it's detrimental. Because that thing, that clock resets every morning then when you base your base who you are in your productivity, that clock sets every day. And then you go down the rabbit trail that I went down of having to do bigger and bigger things and feeling less and less worthy and then starting to get really depressed because you're not getting the dopamine hit to satisfy that heart hunger and that longing for enoughness. And you start a YouTube channel and then you write a book and then you make three award winning film festivals and then you launch a company and then you do this and then you do that and it's never enough. Okay. As my one friend told me, 
Finn, you need to take a chill pill. You're in your 20s doing what people in their 30s and 40s wish they could be doing. You need to breathe. Okay, because I am a very type A individual. But you cannot place your value in the things of this world, in the colors, okay? All souls are created equal, okay? I am equal to you. I'm no better than you. You're no better than me. Now, we can add more value into the things that we do based on how much we are connected to our source that gives us our value, okay? So think of a prism, okay? All of us are made in the image of the creator. Yeah, you might use the term universe. You may use the term God. I'm not here to discuss your path of spiritualism. That's not what I'm here to do, okay? But all of us are made in the image of the creator. And when the creator, when you are connected to the creator, it is just pure, pure white light, pure good energy. And with that outflows all things. Love, joy, peace, patience, prosperity, abundance, all the things that you want, that need of approval and acceptance, you find it in the creator. Okay, you find your worth that's unwavering. It does not change who you are and whose you are. That, did, that never changes. You are already enough. You are already good enough. Your best is already good enough. You are worthy as you are today. And the more you are connected to that source of light, that source of energy, that love, the more, the more you're connected to that creator, the more you are able to give to the world. And that is how much value you put out. But all too often, for instant gratification, that feel-good drug, we chase the colors. So we chase the approval through our colors of productivity of like, oh yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And sometimes value-based productivity can look like giving. It can come in the form of giving. And you might be thinking, whoa, Finn, Finn, giving's a good thing. It is when it's out of the sole intention to purely give, not to get though. All too often, people will mask their need for approval, their need of worthiness, their need of value. They'll place their value on a good person and how much they give, okay? They're like, oh, but I'm giving and this feels so good. Yeah, it's that hit of dopamine. But in reality, they're seeking for that approval. They're seeking for that feeling of feeling good enough, acceptance, I did enough today, based on how much they give. So they're really giving to get, and that is a selfish form of giving. That's not giving at all. That's getting. It's the concept when I make a YouTube video, am I making it to get the likes and the fouls and the views from people? Am I liking it so that way you hit that subscribe button? I mean, in the past I've made videos like that and they performed rather poorly. But now I have shifted that and I'm not making this video out of need for approval, out of need for you to like me because I've learned to like me and I've learned to base my value in the creator and not what I can create. Okay, value-based productivity is placing our value in what we can create rather than our creator. And with that, I am now making this video out of a place of giving that even if just only one person sees this video and they hear a takeaway and it changes their life for the better, and that's all I want. That's all I want is for somebody to not have to go through the pain and suffering of the detrimental pain and suffering I went through because you can do it the easy way and you can you know, become self-conscious and aware of yourself and be like, okay, I probably shouldn't do that. Or you can be stubborn and prideful and chase the ego and then go down the pain and suffering trail of having to learn it the hard way. But the good news is pain is a cleanser, okay? And we'll talk about that in a different video. But I just, I'm not going to go too deep. I'm just, I really want to really hone in on value-based productivity is a form of instant gratification. And you cannot place your value in created things on what you create, okay? Because you already created in the eyes of a creator and that's where your value lies is being made in that creator's image, not in what you create. Now those are good things, you know? Finding the cure for cancer, that's a good thing. Writing a book that helps people, that's a good thing, but you should not place your value in it, okay? You should not do it. Because like I said, it's a reset every single day and it's a toxic cycle that you just get you into. I need more, I need more. And it's never gonna be enough. And at the end of the day, you could have conquered the world and it's still not feel enough because in your mind, you keep raising that value of productivity of I gotta do this and I gotta do that to get that bigger hit of dopamine and it's not gonna be enough. It's an endless cycle of never enough because it's not enough. You're chasing the colors, the colors can't satisfy. You know, it's like chasing the branches of the tree rather than the roots of the tree. You got to be connected to the source that's giving you the life. 
that's when you gotta be connected to the light and the more you're connected the more value then you can put out because like I said the CEO of a company and the janitor there's nothing separating them they're both beautiful equal souls except for the amount of value that they're pouring out into the world of what they can offer and that's probably based on how much they're attracted and connected to the source of light okay because when you are 30% connected to the light you're gonna be pouring out 30% when you're 70% you're gonna be pouring out 70% so if you want to do great things and do actually productive great things of value of productivity you got to have your source of your worth connected to the Creator first and foremost and you got to really be connected to that source of light and you got to be willing to go through the hard things of correction and to be proactive instead of reactive when your needs and your selfishness your sin the things that need correction inside of you okay your tacoon when those pieces of darkness those seeds of darkness come up, that need for approval, that need for longing, that need for acceptance, that fear of abandonment, you know, the people pleaser, the perfectionism, value-based productivity. When that comes up, you have to look at it and you've got to not feed into it by being reactive, but instead be proactive. And usually, I'll talk about it in a different lesson, right before the blessing comes, that trial is going to be there and you're going to meet your opponent. And it's shadow self, Satan. You know, it's that darkness, whatever term you want to use, but you're going to meet that. So today, I know I've said it a lot, but I'm going to say it one more time. Value-based productivity is detrimental because it's an endless cycle for immediate gratification, which will never be enough. And it will never satisfy your hunger because it's a created thing coming from you and you're not connected to the creator. Simple as that. I didn't go too deep today, but I did just want to pop on here and pour that out. Um, because that's something I really learned this summer and that's something that I finally hit my breaking point with of you know what I'm enough just as I am me not making videos doesn't change who I am me not doing that doesn't change who I am I'm enough you are enough okay I don't know where you sit today where you're watching this if you're 18 15 58 37 I don't know how old you are but you are enough the gifts you've been given they are good things and they are meant to be used for the good of the world but they don't make you in a sense, good enough. You are good enough as you are bare bones, okay? You are loved, you are seen, and you are enough no matter how productive or unproductive you are during the day, okay? Days of rest are good things. The Sabbath is a good thing. Productivity is a good thing when it's plugged into the source and you're doing it from that source, not out of your own efforts to try to be enough, okay? When you're chasing the true source of light and you're actually leaning into that, you're receiving that that's good don't chase the colors of the world don't chase the colors all too often people are chasing the colors they're chasing that need for acceptance through all the colors of the prism of productivity and being a good person and all these things in reality their love and acceptance is already here in the source from the creator so don't chase the colors learn to get plugged into the creator and that's what i'm going to be talking about in the next couple of weeks i'm going to kind of start a series of just different things that i've learned and that i want to teach that i feel led to teach you guys and we'll see where this goes Thank you so much for watching.